हेलो गुड आफ्टरनून टू ऑल ऑफ यू फर्स्ट वी आर गोइंग टू प्रेजेंट presentation on gun island which is written by amitav ghosh so i would like to uh, quote here that climate change is like death no one wants to talk about it these are uh, this is the group pre presentation and pre uh, presenters are uh, thruvida dhamelia divya parmar m sharwani himanshi parmar and sil barat uh, in this presentation we are going to uh, cover the points like about the author characters introduction plot overview Uh, themes of the novel and articles reading which are related to novel so uh, key facts are uh, this novel is published uh, at 6 june <coughs> 2019 author is as i have told you amita ghosh uh, this this is a having a very, uh, unique genre is cli-fi and it is a hist historical fiction and uh, we will come to know when we uh, we, go, we will go to the Uh, themes that what is this uh, historical fiction uh, this novel is written originally in english language and this is the modern retelling of bengali myth uh, chapterization is uh, done in a very unique way like uh, chapters are uh, uh, we will come to know that city's name characters names non material like visions dreams and warnings these are the example of the chapters names uh, this is the very good example of high imaginary uh, high imaginary vision of amitav ghosh this novel has trans, uh, it is translated into uh, three languages that is hindi marathi and malayalam uh, here i have put the blurb of the novel uh, generally blurb are for the commercial uh, purpose uh, and by that we can come to know that what the work is about in a very brief idea so i would like to read the bl uh, blurb of this novel it is like on a visit to his birthplace kolkata a brooklyn based dealer in uh, rare books finds his life becoming entangled entangled with an ancient legend legend about the goddess of snakes mansa devi while visiting a temple deep within the vast mangrove forest of bengal he has a dis uh, disturbing encounter with the most most feared and a uh, river of indian snakes or king cobra this is followed by a series of increasingly uncanny episodes that seem to dissolve the borders of the human uh, human and non human actually this uh, novel is totally about uncanny episodes uncanny uh, meaning the not actually uh, exact mystery uh, mysterious but something uh, hard to get understanding about that people <clears throat> with a diverse cast of characters and set in places that range of, uh, range from the sundarbans to las uh, angeles and venice this uh, this is a story about world in which uh, creatures creatures and beings of every kind have been torn loose from their uh, accustomed homes by the uh, catastrophic uh, processes of displacement that are now unfolding Uh, across the earth at an ever increasing pace it is also a story about a man whose faith in the world is restored by uh, two remarkable women so who is amitav ghosh amitav ghosh was born in calcutta and grew up in india bangladesh and sri lanka he studied in delhi uh, oxford and uh, alexandria uh, these are the works by amitav ghosh the circle of reason the shadow lines in an antique land dancing in Colum uh, cambodia the calcutta uh, chromos chromos uh, the glass uh, palace the hungry tide uh, the uh, the ibis uh, trilogy consisting of the sea of poppies river of smoke and flood of, uh, flood of fire the great uh, derangement uh, climate change and the unthinkable this is the very uh, re uh, remarkable work by him uh, he was uh, honored by the various awards uh, there are there, there is a big list of awards but i have uh, put here a very uh, prominent award he has got that is gyan pit award uh, here you can see sahitya academy award uh, An ananda Push uh, puraskar dan david prize and padma shri so uh, now we are going to uh, see the statement 
by him when he was pre uh, present in the uh, book festival uh, in uh, in 2019 and uh, he he claimed that he is very influenced uh, from the bengali folklore and we can, uh, when we go to the all works by him we can come to know that he is actually inspired by the uh, stories which are told to him the conflict between the merchant and the goddess of snack is exactly the conflict between the profits industry and the environment so he is telling uh, about the novel that what the novel is actually and uh, he is putting uh, this both the conflict uh, to uh, to portray this thing <coughs> the ancient story is uh, conceptualized the basic issue at the heart of uh, climate change when he was at chicago humanities festival he claimed that climate change is uncanny like the novel is collection of uncanny episodes or series of uncanny episodes praised the description of basic emotions of beings in bangla uh, in bangla ancient stories how people were so pure uh, uh, he he has mentioned uh, in interview about ice age little ice age the little ice age was a period of uh, regional cooling particularly pronounced in the north atlantic region it was not a true ice age of global extent the term was introduced into scientific literature by uh, francois mathes in 1939 the period has been conventionally defined as extending from uh, the 16th to the 19th century but some experts prefer an alternative time span from about 13 uh, to about uh, uh, sorry 14th century to 19th century uh, the little ice age was a period of bitter winters and mild summers uh, that affected europe and north america between the 14th and 19th century the cold weather is well documented in written records uh, and supported by uh, paleoclimatic accords such as uh, tree rings and glaciers what he thinks about this novel my book is just an attempt to do uh, to what i feel as i have always done which uh, is to respond in a creative way to the realities of our times uh, and these are the realities of our time which uh, which why they figure in the book it is not about climate change that is i disown such uh, labels it is having the links between the past and the present and in uh, those links one of the link of period uh, interest uh, interesting is the uh, 17th century because which is the last time the earth went uh, earth went through the traumatic uh, tribulation and some claims are that uh, this is the global novel because novel is containing a major issue or major concerning about the climate change research work for uh, migration he has lived there with refugee and to the uh, and to the days were eye opening to him and uh, he go to the etymological history when he uh, when we uh, refer the book we can come to know so my learning out outcome is climate change the topic was not new but the less interested uh, after went through this novel it has become the concern Auth uh, as author is very capable to make aware his readers with his you know, enough seriousness and literariness amitav ghosh said in one of his interview when he is asked uh, that it is not the worry for uh, the old generation people and they are not getting this problem as much uh, as much as younger generation people are making themselves aware towards it as a problem so it was a journey Uh, from topic to concern novel makes me curious to read more through the lens of climate change thank you now uh, further presentation i would like to call divya sir uh, hello everyone myself divya parmar and today i am going to deal with the uh, topic characters so here i have uh, divided characters into the three part mainly the character presented uh, presented as a researcher the character from the india and the character from the mythic mythical story so the uh, uh, very first uh, first character is the protagonist dinonath uh, datta 
uh, who is also known as uh, Dino or Din. Uh, he is the uh, protagonist of the uh, novel, and he, uh, in uh, this uh, part, he is uh, res uh, doing research on the folklore. Uh, uh, in a uh, novel where he uh, presented at his age was 50 but uh, before that he, uh, he was going to the USA for the research and uh, that time the topic uh, of research was folklore. The another character was Piali Roy and uh, she is doing a research on the marine biology and she is working with the uh, lady uh, Nilima Bose with, uh, in context of her, his, uh, her trust. The third uh, character is a uh, Jia Sinta uh, Shiva. Uh, he uh, she is a historian, and the uh, second part, the characters from the uh, this uh, uh, characters of a uh, Kunaidat, Nilima Bose, Moina, and her husband Fokir, Tipu, Horan Naskar, Muslim boatman, and the Rafi. Here, uh, Kunaidat uh, is a, a, a relative of the protagonist Dino Nadat. And the Nilima Bose is a founder of the NGO. Moina, uh, Moina is a nurse, and her husband Fokir was died uh, in, during the uh, help of the uh, in research to Piali. Uh, the Tipu is the son of the Moina and Fokir. Uh, Horan Naskar is a uh, is a fisherman and the Muslim boatman, and his grandson was Rafi, who is taking care of the. Uh, a serene of the uh, Mansa Devi. Here, the character from the mythical story, which is told by the Nilima Bose, and the Mansa Devi is the character, uh, she is a, a, a Devi of serpents. Then, the second character is the gun merchant, and uh, the, in this story, the uh, the myth was a Chan Sadgar, and uh, uh, the Lakinder was son of the Chan Sadgar, and the Behula is uh, the the uh, daughter in law uh, and the uh, Nakhuda Elias is the captain of the ship. The other characters we uh, introduce uh, with the Lisa, entomologist and the te uh, teaching, Gisela or the Jisa. She is the, uh, she, here we found that uh, she is the uh, granddaughter of the. Uh, Ruggero and uh, his father was Alterio. Here we found that the another character, Ima, uh, Jisa and Ima are partners. Here the another ca character, Gia Como and Lucia. There is also the people introduced is uh, introduced as the mig migrated people from the Bengal to Italy. List of some migrated characters in the novel. Lubana, Khala, Alam, Munir, Palash, Bilal, and Kabir. So, uh, my learning outcome is my reading of this novel leads me to the lead about the climate changes with happening around the world. And if we read the characters like Dinona, Datta, Piali, Sinta, and all are educated people, but the Piali's research, uh, research topic is related to the marine biology and climate changes. Migration people uh, believe on the mythology. Presented uh, by Amitav, and also he presents the character of a Jisa who wanted wanted to make a documentary upon the migrated people in Italy from the Bengal. Amitav noticed the old contemporary things and the documented in the novel. And also by the characters of Ajisa, we find that all contemporary and important things can be uh, uh, noticed can, can be noticed by the literature. This is how author draws the real sketch of the world front of our eyes with the novel. Now further, I, I would like to call Jean Barrett for the plot. <laughs> So first, I, I will deal with the plot overview of the novel. In the novel, we see that the narrat uh, narrator is moving over, the, over various lands like in Italy 
and in uh, California and is coming to India in the beginning of the novel. The, uh, the novel begins with uh, the our narrator Dinonath Dutta coming to Kolkata in the winters to his native place as the winters are not bearable in the cold region. So first we will see the maps. Looking at the map, we will see that the novel will begin in the India, here in the Bengal, in the West Bengal, where the Sundarban National Park is there. Then further, the novel moves in the United States, and in the United States, uh, we find uh, in United States, one of our character is in New York, in uh, New York, Italy, where our protagonist is working, and uh, and Piali Roy, which is introduced in the character, is in Oregon, working in Oregon. Then they are going, uh, the Piali and uh, Dinana Dutta are going for one conference in Los Angeles, California, which is here, here in California. The novel is also go going to Italy here. Sorry, our character Dinanath is in uh, uh, in Venice. They are also going in Venice, which we have seen in USA, and is living in Italy. We see that the here also region is near the ocean in Venice, and all the region all the region in the map we see wherever our characters are moving are all the region are near the oceans. Here we can see that here where the novel is mainly focusing in Sundarbans is near ocean, here in Italy, then here Venice, here Los Angeles where they are going for the conference and here Oregon where P. Aliro is there. The two major themes which are dealt in this novel is climate upheaval and mass migration. Here mass migration is not only relating to the migration of the human beings but it is also talking about the migration of the animals. Uh, and the main reason of migration which is shown in the novel is climate upheaval in human and in human it is for more better life and uh, for uh, economic concerns while in the animal we see the climate concern. The novel is mainly divided into two parts. The first part is the gun merchant and the second part is Venice. In the gun merchant, the sub-chapters are Calcutta, Chinta, Tipu, Brush Rhine, Vision, Rani, Brooklyn, Wildfire, Los Angeles and Gun Island. Here, Chinta, Tipu, Rani are the name of the characters. Calcutta, Brush Rhine, Brooklyn. Los Angeles are the name of the places and wildfires is giving us a climate change whole season. Then here in the Venice, the ghetto, roughy, strandings, friends, dreams, warnings, high water, crossings, wind, the Lucania, it is the name of the ship which they are hiring, sightings and the storm. Uh, beginning with the plot overview, this novel, The Gun Island, is a sequel of the uh, uh, of Amitav Ghosh's novel, uh, The Hungry Tide. Many of the characters, like the Piali Roy and the uh, and the background story of uh, Tipu's father, is from the, is coming from the novel Hungry Tide. The protagonist of the novel is Dinana Dutta, which is um, also called as Dinu, Dino, and Din. He is a dealer of rare books and uh, and ancient antiques. Uh, antiquities. He is going to Kolkata from Brooklyn in the sea in the winter season. Protagonist introduction to the world bon uh, Bonduki Sadagar, that is the gun merchant, while returning his domicile land, Kolkata. When the, uh, uh, the novel begins on the very first chapter, uh, the protagonist is talking in the first person and is telling that he was introduced to the word Bonduki Sadagar not in Brooklyn but in his domicile place that is in Calcutta. 
uh, when he is going to Calcutta, as usual we see that when someone is coming from the foreign, he goes to meet his relatives in his native place. He is going in one of the gathering, a family gathering, and there he is meeting his distant relative Kanaidat. The Kanaidat is introducing him, uh, is making uh, our protagonist is a folklore. He has done PhD and uh, mostly in the folklore, and he has talked a lot about all the Bengali myths, which are uh, told mouth to mouth stories. And Kanaidat is uh, making fun that as you have done a PhD in uh, a doctorate in the folklore, then you must be knowing everything about the about the story of Bonduki Sadagar. And in their conversation, there comes a presence of a myth that is of Chand Sadagar and the Mansati. We are going to talk about the myth of uh, uh, Bonduki Sadagar, that is the gun merchant and Mansadevi. And here they converse about a uh, myth of Chand Sadagar and Mansadevi, in which it happens that Chand Sadagar's son was killed was killed on the first night of the marriage and then his son's wife behula is praying to mansa devi and bringing the life of his husband back then kannaidat is kannaidat is asking our protagonist to meet nilima bose who is knowing the story of a gun merchant bondugi sadakar and then comes the back story of nilima roy Firstly, our character, our protagonist was not ready to meet Nilima Roy, but later, uh, then uh, Kannai Dutt is telling that there is a, a woman named Piali Roy, who is, uh, who is known as Pia in whole novel, uh, is also coming from a foreign land, that is Oregon, is and is working here. Pia has adopted to the family of Tipu. And the no, as the novel opens, we come to know that uh, Pia's, uh, that Tipu's father, Foki, was working with Pia in one research work. And in that research work, Foki died in hel uh, in safeguarding Pia. And so Pia has somewhere a guilt about it. And so he adopts to Tipu and uh, Tipu, the son of Foki, and uh, tries to fulfill all his needs. Here, the Tipu's name is Tutul. But then Tutul is going to America with the help of uh, Pia for the education. And so he changed his name to Tipu. And his mother's, Tipu's mother's name is Moina Mandol. Who is Nilima? The Nilima was, is, uh, uh, was working in an in NGO. He married to an impoverished school teacher and came to Lucybury, uh, a small town on the edge of Sundarbans. And there they had grown one trust. Uh, it, was the, it was the most reputed charitable organization. Uh, they used to work for the people who have faced uh, a uh, faced uh, some issues in the climate, they had to dislocate or they had, uh, like we see the natural calamities happening and most of the NGOs are going to provide food to them. And this trust is also working like that. They, uh, they were, once they got the news about a Bhola cyclone which happened near Sundarbans and so this uh, this news came to Nilima Bose through Horan Naskar. He was a boatman. And they decided to go for the supplies distribution in the region, in all the region near the Sundarbans who were victim of Bola cyclone. Here the reference of Bola cyclone is real cyclone which actually happened in Sundarban. And they, when they are going, they see that there was one region which had no harm, any harm due to cyclone. And there comes a story that uh, this region was not harmed because of the Mansa Devi shrine which was present there. And then uh, Nilima Bose got little interested to know about and he uh, tried to find, asked various locals about the shrine, that how the shrine came here. Then Nilima Bose got some, some news and came back. Then uh, as our uh, protagonist Dino came and she decided that as he, has, he is interested in the folklore, he, uh, Nilima Bose was worried that if this story about the shrine was not documented, then it will get lost. And so she is requesting to our protagonist that he should write about this shrine after doing some research work. But uh, uh, here, yes, uh, and Nilima Bose is talking that the shrine was like the temples of Vishnupur. 
the custodian and then uh, as as we discussed ago the protagonist was not much interested but he heard the story and the notable thing i uh, i read was our protagonist was recording everything for the documentation he was not interested but he had a habit of recording everything about whatever he gets to listen and then uh, he comes back to his room and thought that he don't need to go to the shrine but uh, then uh, he gets and then he got gets a call from chinta his old friend of foreign and then he chinta the main two female protagonist is pia and chinta who are connected to dino and chinta was a, a character who was not as rational as pia chinta used to believe in all these mythical stories and he she used to feel that this is somewhere has really happened and after that after talking with chinta uh, our dino decides to go to the shrine and there it was a tough tour for him to going to shrine because he was not used to all that and after going that he, there he meets a character rafi Rafi was a, at present in a contemporary time in novel a only caretaker of the shrine actually the rafi's grandfather used to take a take care of the uh, shrine and that boatman uh, that boatman was not a custodian or a caretaker but he was living with the hindu gayans family a uh, hindu gayans in a way a ballad singers they were custodians of the of the shrine and the boatman maji used to live with them but uh, uh, unfortunately the hindu gayan family uh, passed away and the boat that was during the time of the partition of the indian subcontinent the boatman had been looking after the dam due to partition the hindu gayan family had to leave the place and then this boatman was taking uh, place uh, taking care of the shrine and the rafi uh, rafi was the only one at present taking the care Uh, there, uh, there is an encounter between Rafi and uh, uh, Dino. Rafi is telling the story behind the shrine. Whatever he knew, uh, he told the dam was reserved by all, irrespective to religion. Hindus believed that it was Mansa Devi who guarded the shrine, while Muslims believed that it was a place of jinns protected by the Muslim peer or saint by the name of Ilyas. the story is opening further a lot in the novel and he tells uh, uh, talks about uh, the story related to shrine that the gun island came he, the gun merchant came here and made this shrine uh, because he promised something to mansa devi and he couldn't fulfill the uh, the promise so he was getting uh, uh, getting away from mansa devi and finding a lot of place to hide and then too he was not able to safeguard himself and then mansa devi once caught and told that if you make my shrine in bengal i will leave you and due to and then the gun merchant comes back to bengal and uh, builds this shrine here in this all uh, description there comes a name of the name of the various islands that is the island of chains that is shikol dweep then nilima told the story of gun merchant she gathered from the boatman which i have written the page numbers also where the story is described in the original text it is on page number 16 and 17 and uh, when he is to- uh, talking to chinta he uh, dino is also getting a memory of one female another female character who was durga uh, he was a uh, ex of dino but he she, durga was killed Uh, in an encounter because she had an extreme extreme marxist point of view and in that uh, duration as there were uh, various ideologies fight, fighting and in at that encounter durga was killed then he was uh, the our dino was trying to solve when the shrine was built when he was sitting alone and he uh, and he makes various uh, idea is that it might be built during the re- during the reign of uh, aurangzeb as it is an idea which came from that mughal emperor 
he thought that it was built in the date range which he estimated was 1605 to 1690 because it has a and Bishnupur architecture which has a merge of Islam and Hindu elements. Then call for a prop, call from Professor Jia Chinta and uh, they have a conversation about the visit of uh, Jia, uh, sorry, Chinta into the Bengal. And there comes a reference that when Chinta visited to Bengal, she visited to one of the performance. And, uh, and in that performance, uh, Dino was not able to recall what performance it was. Then he went to all the documentation that he did. And there he came to know the performance which was visited by uh, Chinta was also related to Mansa Devi. And he thinks that Mansa, the story of Mansa Devi is in the air since years. Then he went, goes to the shrine and meets to, meets to the Rafi there he, and Tipu. The character of Tipu also comes there when they are going to shrine and Rafi he meets in the shrine. And uh, all the conversation and the backstory of Tipu is coming. And another version of gun merchant is also coming, which is told by the boatman. And there comes a uh, there comes a captain Ilyas. And as it is told on page number fifty five. Uh, the story comes as the Horace is telling that uh, his recollections of the legend were quite different from the Nilimas. The calamities that figured in it loomed much larger his memory than they did in hers. Here, according to the Horan Naskar, who was a boatman, the great cyclone was responsible for the gun merchants. Uh, a gun merchant going out of the island and roaming everywhere. Half of the people have died of starvation. Parents had sold their children and people had been reduced to eating uh, carcasses. Uh, the, the narration which he gets is completely different. Is when the gun merchant is returning back to the island, his family was killed, and so he decides to go back. Uh, and what happens according to the story of Hor and Naskar? The gun merchant was having his voyage, then he was captured by the pirates. Pirates took him to uh, took him as a slave, as there was a uh, re, uh, the slaves were sold. He was taken. Then Captain Ilyas buys to a gun merchant. And gun, then Captain Ilyas feels that gun merchants is quite capable and decides not to keep him as a slave and frees him after buying him. This was the story which was told by gun, uh, by Horan Naska. Then when they reach to the shrine there, he sees some of the symbols, uh, our character. Uh, this is the symbol of Mansa Devi and gun merchant which is interpreted by Dino. This is gun island. That is a uh, gun island which is solved further. And here, whatever character interprets is the helmeted figure. This was indeed a pirate, then the leader of the Hermas who had captured the gun merchant. The uh, further story about merchant and Captain Ilyas who bought him by Rafi, then Rafi is telling his own interpretation of the story. And then Dino feels that as it is the shrine of Mansa Devi, the snake must be there and there comes a cobra and Tipu was trying to safeguard Dino and the cobra bites to Tipu. Then they are taking Tipu to the hospital and in that duration Tipu is getting some visions and in he in visions he tells that Rani is, uh, Rani is in danger. Uh, then uh, uh, that uh, Dino calls to Pia and asks about Rani. But the, uh, the uh, who is Rani is told in the next chapter that is Rani was a dolphin. He, it, uh, she was an important part of uh, Pia's research. And as uh, uh, as Tipu is telling that there is a danger, the news comes that the dolphin dolphin beaching news in the newspaper. The beaching is the dolphin themselves kill themselves together coming on the island. It's like a suicide done by the group of dolphins 
on the island of Gurjantala. And Pia thinks the culprit of this is refinery, that is the industries which are built in the Sundarbans. And they get their, uh, the Pia and Dino is having the conversation about it. And I had I have divided the novel into three parts according to the places. This all conversation which happened, that is the opening up of the story of the shrine and uh, or the introduction of the characters was in Kolkata. Then, the, uh, then Dinu is going to Brooklyn back. Here there is a wonderful etymology of few words like uh, Bhuta and uh, uh, Shaman. Uh, then the, uh, Dinu is getting one mail from uh, Bonduki at the rate bonduki.com. Then he, uh, it was by uh, Tipu. And Tipu is having a question that what exactly does Bhuta mean? And they come to, after several con, uh, conversation, they come to a conclusion that it means a being or an existing presence. It is a wonderful etymology which we find in the novel and various words has its etymologies. Then they, uh, Dinu is having a chat with Pia about Tipu. And Lisa comes into the scene there. Lisa is a friend of Pia. She was a researcher. She is giving, uh, uh, she is submitting one research work in which he is telling that uh, the bark beetles are eating away all the trees in the jungles, which will result into the wildfire soon. But no one is believing her, and everyone thinks that uh, she is making the stories to of uh, uh, to spread. Uh, is trying to uh, spread fake news but later the wildfires are seen in Lo Los Angeles and here we see that what happens to the intellectuals that she gets blamed everyone thinks that it was uh, Pia sorry it was Lisa who uh, who uh, who did fires in the jungle to prove her research correct and uh, they are, this was the conversation between the Pia and Dino. Pia is talking about Lisa, what happened to her. And there comes a statement, it's like we are back in the dark ages, women being attacked as witches. That is, as we have got the reference of mad women in the attic. Then comes the Tipu ask about possession and the greed. Again, a con intellectual conversation between uh, Tipu and Dino. Tipu was in Bangalore. He was doing some work there. Then uh, Dino has to go to a conference in Los Angeles about the climate and apocalypse in the 17th century. And several things happens with Dino in the flight. He acts very weird. As he goes into the flight, he reads about the wildfires, uh, uh, news about the wildfires, and he feels that now he will face several, uh, several problems. A, uh, so he won't be able to attend conference or won't be won't come back. Then he screams there. Other, another thing happens that all the flight uh, crew members are uh, uh, are pacifying him. He is sitting silently and he tries to uh, listen a song. His mobile was connected to the Bluetooth speaker and as he is, uh, goes uh, starts the song, it was a song Allaho. Which, which came in the Bluetooth speaker and everyone again was having a doubt towards him as he was in the flight. First, he screamed and created a weird atmosphere in the flight and there comes a, a song related to Allah. And then he was taken by the crew members and his phone and laptops, everything was checked. Then when they were coming, uh, they were landing in Los Angeles, uh, Dino sees that the uh, wildfires was everywhere in a lot, uh, lo a lot in the jungles. And that also he sees that wildfires are not negative for everyone. In that period, he sees the eagles were going down and bringing a snake as a food uh, from the wildfires. And he ge he gets afraid of looking at the snake and gets a story of Mansa Devi. And the, the scene of go, cobra, and he uh, and he sh starts shouting like snake, snake. And again, the crew, again, everyone in the flight has a weird look towards him. Then he went, goes to the conference, and conference place was changed due to wildfires. And in the conference, two speeches are elaborated in the novel. 
one is about about the 17th century by a key speaker and another of chintas he, what he, he is talking about uh, the fo uh, folklore and how 17th century and uh, climate change was there but which was not documented anywhere and it is not seen by anyone then he talks up to the chinta about the story of gun merchant and mansa devi and it is a whole chapter named gun island where they are talking about the story their chinta is trying uh, chinta is trying to solve all the problems in the um, solving the words in the mind of uh, dino uh, chinta says that it it might be possible that this story was real here the bonduki sadagar is not the gun merchant but a merchant from a venice in in the speech of uh, chinta there were many reference about the venice which in, inspired uh, dino inspired dino that there might be something related to the venice and he gets a solution that bonduki sadagar is not a gun merchant but a merchant from the venice here i have made a temple uh, uh, the arabic name of venice is al bandukiya which gives a birth to a name bonduki sadagar then the reference of various lands was given by rafi which was sold by chinta that is the land of palm sugar candy which can be uh, the originally which is tal misrir desh and which was according to chinta it can be egypt they have given all the elaborated explanations that how it can be then uh, then he land of kerchiefs there is rumali desh which was translated into land of kerchiefs but actually it is the fort of rumali history which is present in the turkey and this symbol which was read at mansa devi and the gun merchant it was alif it is an alphabet from a hebrew language which must be ilias as a jew as it was sold then they come to uh, they um, chinta and dino thinks that gun merchant is not a story as it is told told by the locals like rafi haran naskar and nilami bose but it must be that the merchant of the venice is moving to the place egypt turkey with ilias and go is in venice and like this the whole they solve the all the myth which is told by the locals and then chinta is inviting to dino that uh, you must come to visit uh, venice and we will roam in the venice that did actually gun merchant uh, exist in the venice or not uh, then they uh, chinta uh, ask for a promise from dino to visit new york but later when dino is returning to the brooklyn he sees that uh, he is broke he don't have a money then again comes a here comes a chance that jisa who was a uh, cousin's daughter cousin chinta's cousin's daughter jiza was uh, chinta's uncle rugerio's son's altiros altiros daughter and there uh, he was a documentary maker he calls to dino that he wants to make a documentary of the migrators who are living in the venice who are bangladeshis and for that he wants a, she wants a translator and then there dino gets an a thought that how a bangladeshis can be in the venice it was completely out of the mind from the dino that bangladesh can people of bangladesh can also be in venice then he visits to a venice venice and uh, uh, the not the part of the venice begins with the kinship between the varanasi and the venice he gives certain uh, uh, similarities between both the land and he calls that it is a land of mortals as he is moving in the venice the word he hears is a shabdan <coughs> he was to uh, to be uh, he was to be at a, uh, a, in a, it was a construction place and something was going to be fallen in the and he was warned by a uh, word shabdan which is a bengali word and there he sees rafi for the first time in the venice and he was shocked to see the rafi in venice he goes to lubna khala lubna khala is a lady 
who is helping migrants in the venice he goes to lubna khala and comes uh, there comes whole back story of lubna khala and uh, her husband munir then he returned to the flat he was living in the flat of chinta had a call from jiza <coughs> and talks everything about the venice uh, our character dino has talked to lubna khala that if he has someone there and if uh, anyone in his um, nearby is ready to give a interview as a migrant and then he talks with a jiza and he gets a number from uh, lubna khala of rafi then he calls to rafi and he wants to know that how rafi is there in the venice and if rafi is in venice then where is tipu he went to uh, rafi he was selling ice cream and there they gets an encounter with a poisonous spider <coughs> and during that time rafi is telling a extended story which he knew and he says that the uh, through uh, the poisonous spider is also a part of a story of a gun merchant gun merchant was trying to hide from mansa devi and he closes himself in a closed iron walled room and the and that room also he gets killed and when uh, all the investigation was done he was killed through a poisonous spider this story was added by rafi uh, for dino Uh, he uh, for in exchange of a story rafi took 44 euro from dino and uh, he forced dino to go from there then on that night rafi was beaten by someone and then it comes to know that they were uh, they were the human smuggler who uh, who were atta- who were connected to human smuggler and trafficking who beat to rafi and then the sto- uh, when dino is trying to know that why it happened then he came to know from the bilal a uh, bilal was a roommate of the rafi and bilal talks about his story his friendship with bilal and kabir that when they were trying to come illegally to the venice so in uh, they got separated and he explains that when you are going illegally to another land and one of your friend gets separated you will do anything to safeguard him and that was what rafi was doing tip when they were coming to venice and there is a whole explanation about their route that how they came what happened and how this and there comes the theme of human smuggling and trafficking that how humans can illegally go which is uh reality today also we see the various uh, people trying to move to america from canada that illegally and in that uh, route near turkey tipu is left behind and rafi goes forward and then once the uh, tip uh, rafi is getting a call from tipu that he is alive and safe and he in the dream he is get uh, he is having one ethiopian woman and in the dream ethiopian ethiopian woman is telling him to come to uh, telling him to come to egypt and so tipu decides to go to egypt and while uh, and so he needed money and so rafi was doing uh, as some uh, i was uh, taking money from the dalal and he was not able to give money and so he was beaten up and during that time dino gets a call from a jiswa that is a bo- about a bo- boat load of refugees had been spotted in the eastern mediterranean and that boat is known as the blue boat in this novel and uh, it it can be the important part for, for the documentary uh, in in the jiswa's documentary so he calls to dino that if he can help about having an interview with them uh, and and this scene is happening and parallel pi is calling to P- dino that uh, he she has got one mail from an unknown sender and she doubts that it is uh, it's tipu and the email was about the beaching of dolphins at the uh, gurjantola Gar- island in the sundarban and then the, uh, it uh, the story opens up that tipu was lying to his mother moina that tipu is working in one country in one big company and it was a lie by tipu and even he was sending some uh, photographs in a group photographs in a suit and tie but it were morphed photographs which was known by pia later 
then Pia asks to uh, talk to Tipu that everything that happened and he came to know everything about Tipu from Moina. And the question arises that where is Tipu? And during that time, Rafi was in hospital. His housemate uh, Bilal told all the story between Bilal and Kabir, their backstory. And all after knowing all this, at night when Dino goes to the flat, he gets an encounter with a spider. He is sending a photo to Pia. And Pia's friend Larry uh, studies to spider and they come to know that it was a poisonous spider. Spider which was not generally found in Venice but has came to Venice due to the climate change. Then uh, Dino is going to Lubna Khala and he uh, meets to a new character that is Palash. Palash wa uh, came to Venice for the study. He is a character who migrated to Venice legally for education while all other characters who were migrating or dislocating to the Venice were coming illegally or uh, due to some or the other reasons but not for the education purpose. Then he asks about uh, ask about the blue boat to Lubna Khala, and uh, the Lubna Khala was already arranging or hiring a ship to go to the blue boat for helping to all the all these refugees. While all the ministers in the authority around the Mediterranean Sea already refused to have that refugees on their land, they were not ready to have all these people uh, uh, from the boat on their land. Then, uh, then Dino talks to Chinta that uh, that uh, what type of issues he is facing, and then Chinta decides that let us uh, let us go into Venice and Rome and see uh, if uh, we uh, where where gun merchant might have gone into Venice. And they go then they uh, there is a description of a history of Venice and the plague that happened in Venice, and there comes a. Uh, they go to the uh, church of uh, Madonna and there comes a similar story to the Mansa Devi. That the region where there was uh, the church of Madonna, they were not affected by the plague. And the reason for that which was given by locals was that because Madonna safeguarded them. And the same story was seen in Mansa Devi's shrine. Uh, that uh, they were not affected by the calamities. Because there was a shrine of Mansa Devi. And then the, uh, they roam all around. They go to library. They go to church. And then they are going to one place where Chinta's gra grandfather and uncle was going for fishing. And there suddenly, uh, there suddenly there is a collapse of a bridge. And Chinta and uh, Dino, what were both? It was high water and a collapse of a bridge. And they, there was no one around. And suddenly Bilal came there and Bilal safeguarded them. Then uh, uh, Chinta was admitted into hospital. Same it was with uh, Rafi. And then Rafi tells the whole story that how they illegally got uh, transferred and Tipu saw Ethiopian women. And he saw one photo from the newspaper about the blue boat. And he identified Tipu. That Tipu is in this blue boat. And so they need to go to the blue boat. And then they decided to join the Libna Khala uh, uh, to rescue the blue boat. They hired a boat from Magera. Everyone joined there. Pia also came. Chinta also went. Rafi also went. Uh, the ship they hired was Lucania. Uh, then island was off chains. She called whip. Then uh, the slowly and steadily all the words get uh, uh, come with etymology of all the words are given the island of change which was she called with was Sicily uh, Sicily then the story of Chinta there was also a backstory of Chinta that his uh, his husband and his daughter Lucia were killed in a uh, killed in an accident and there was a doubt that his husband was a journalist and he tried to open up the story about some mafias and it was, and she believed that it was a mafia who made mafia that uh, had an accident of his husband and daughter. And uh, Chinta used to see, used to feel that his her daughter Lucia is always around her. Then they are going to. Uh, there comes an hailstorm. There comes a uh, tornado. All the uh, natural. 
calamities are explained in the novel as we go further when they are going to to rescue the uh, blue boat then they are on the ship pi is telling the back story about the fokir and uh, fokir uh, as i discussed that uh, uh, he was tipu's father and died in a research work helping to pia then and she thinks that pia tipu still blames her for his death and jisa during that period jisa that uh, relative of chinta is hearing the voice of lucia that is chinta's daughter and in the ship in the ship they see the, uh, the school of cetaceans uh, uh, pia was doing a research on the cetaceans Uh, they are cetaceans are the various types of dolphins there are uh, in the novel also elaborate seven to eight type of uh, uh, dolphins then they get a satellite image of blue boat and all in the uh, uh, in all uh, here the authority has already refused to have uh, that refugees on their land but uh, and there was a attack by the white right wingers for not having them on the land and much happened on that voyage while they are they were going to rescue the bull, uh, blue boat the blue boat was finally rescued there comes a back story of palash is palash is talking to uh, dino that uh, he came here for education but later he couldn't study and he was not even able to go to his domicile native place Uh, a native place because he was ashamed of showing his face to his family that he went to study but he couldn't study and there comes a conversation about the books and the mobile between the palash and dino the right wing were not uh, one, were not anti immigrant immigrant group <coughs> and in in this voyage they see a bioluminescence which in which all the birds were in the sky it was like a dark cloud uh, there were dolphins around the ship and it was a beautiful natural scene according to pia being a researcher he she said that normally it doesn't happen which signifies that it is not normal but everything happened due to the climate change in the end it comes that tipu is safe at last and navy admiral Uh, navy admiral vigonovo he was being interviewed he was ordered by the uh, ordered by the authority that he don't have to safeguard the blue boat refugees but yet he chooses his duty about the uh, order which he got from the authority and is safeguarding the refugees in the end it happens so chinta is dying in the novel the novel ends with the sentence of chinta is no more and uh, she talks to dino that lucia has lucia has came to take her away take her with him he pushed along by situations that one could just as easily attribute to mere chance or global warming or the worthful vengeance of goddess scrond he pushed along with the, uh, his here in the novel we see uh, the, uh, when i read the novel i thought Uh, that uh, dino or tipu or chinta might be one of the gun merchant or a mansa devi and the story will revolve around it but in the simple terms if we see a story then it is the narrator going to domicile uh, domicile land then getting to know about the story of mansa devi he was not interested but some by chances and uh, he gets to know more and more about the story he talks with chinta he uh, thinks that it is interesting and then he goes to venice where he when he thinks interprets uh, the interprets some of the references of the merchant of the venice the, and goes to venice and there a ho- whole myth opens up in a way uh that it was in a way real but the story which was told by locals in a way of goddesses it was not reality amita ghosh has uh, there was a question that this novel is all about uncanny uh for example dino was broke he was not able to go to venice but he gets a chance to go to venice through the call of jisa 
he was not interested to go to the shrine but through the call of chinta he is going to shrine this uh, the novel is based on chances and when he was asked he said that climate related migration and displacement change is uncanny disoriented so to write about it today is to write about uncanny and so the novel is more about uncanny which is also written in the blood we don't know what's happening in uh, in worldwide uncanny is the heart of book in the review by rita joshi in the world literature organization it is told that a talk held in new delhi after the release of the novel ghosh stated that the merchant was a trop for dread the merchant and the goddess dramatized the conflict between profit and the world so myth through the myth Ghosh is trying to tell a conflict between the prophet and the world. In the novel, the goddess pursues the merchant to make him aware of other realities like the animal world. Human driven as was the merchant by the quest of profit would recognize no restraint in relation to other living beings. And Clark in The Guardian has told, amid the freak cyclones and oxygen starved waters, comes the story or stories of migration across the edges tales of escapology of deprivation and persecution of impossible yearnings for a new world that bring us inexorably to the terrified refugees of the mediterranean which is perhaps gosh's essential point a shaggy dog story can take a very roundabout path towards reality but it will get there in the end it has to or we are all doomed and in kenyan review gun islands world view is largely a positive one in a culture saturated with a tales of impending or past apocalypse of sur uh, survivalism and ruthlessness ghosh paints a picture of compassion and community so in a simple way the story is about the myth uh and the uh, protagonist is going to see if myth is real or not and in all these traveling and voyages we realize that he, uh, he uh, writer is all trying to demonstrate the mass mig mass migration and the climate change is happening in the society and we also come to know that myths which are told in reality are perhaps not the actual myth but a uh, some incident which happened might happened uh, in real in the world but it is told in a way of uh, some divinity now further i am going to talk about the cover page the cover page was designed by nirupa rao he is a she is a botanical artist of bangalore and ayengar uh, ayengar citing to rao in the uh, indian express has say, said that since the novel is say, uh, is set in sundarbans i was keen to include some floral uh, typical of area too i provided them with a few sketch options and they along with coach settled on the design and finally made the cover and echoed around nirupa has said that she made designed this cover as it was related to mansa devi the snake and it was majorly set in the sundarban so to show the uh, mangroves and florals she has drawn floral Uh, this image is from the nirupa rao's uh, insta uh, insta post that when she was drawing about and i found this cover page also it uh, this cover page is of uk uh, when it was released in uk we see that nirupa rao has designed many of the covers uh, for amitav ghosh i'm not able to open his her uh, page she, uh, he she is having her own website and uh, majorly all the novels related to the climate change uh, by amita ghosh is designed is designed by her so finally my learning outcome here are the various quotes which i found uh, effective in the novel and which brought some of the new ideas that don't set yourself up to fail yet again which symbol uh, through which we can say that Uh, we should not do the same mistake again and again in life which will give us a failure 
once we know that uh, this can bring we have experienced that this can bring a failure to us trying is good but wasting of time behind anything which will be harmful for us should not be done do you think that people elsewhere don't believe in such things here being an indian we feel that india is a region where everyone believes in myth and religion and we try to um, we don't see india with a better place for living and education but in the novel we see that chinta being a for, white lady being coming from a foreign is also believing in all this myth which is shown by the myth of madonna then other thing people think that knowing the future can help you prepare for what is to come but often it only makes you powerless and this is experience of, of by everyone uh, if we take a simple example of an exam we feel that uh, uh, perhaps we get, get a question paper for tomorrow we can come to know what is going to be asked in future but we after reading this i realize that even if we get a question paper we are not going to do anything uh, we will procrastinate it is only four answers we will do and we become more powerless in that it's always a mistake to do a easy thing just out of habit and uh, this we can also be related to us in our regular life uh, that when we are giving given several task and if the one is difficult challenging task and one is easier task we go for an easier task and we think that because we don't have a time to do that but it has where it turns our habit we don't know we always go in search of easy path and don't try to do anything difficult but it is our habit impossible is nothing just do it time itself is in ecstasy uh, by after reading this quote it says that what is happening in present today's time is only happiness and we are uh, as normal human being we are always thinking of the future that after completing this i will do this that i will have a job i will earn all other which are the day dreaming which we usually do but we forget in that period that what we are doing is necessary to be enjoyed and if we do those things happily today will perhaps give us a more better future through the character of admiral we get an idea about order and the duty that he pursued his duty and didn't follow the order this was the first time that i tried to read the whole novel um before i have read but majorly the novels which i read were abridged version in when we go through the novel it is really difficult to go through the skin of the character and when i completed novel i forgot that when how the novel began and it becomes difficult to comprise whole novel uh, in a in a brief way here in the novel there was a sense of dis- dissatisfaction when it got completed when we are reading stories we only always bind something in our mind that it will end like this and as i, I say that i thought that one of the character might be a gun merchant and the theme all the myth of mansa devi and gun merchant will be repeated on the uh, that character but the novel ends completely differently chinta the main last sentence is chinta is gone and we don't understand that uh, if we don't go through the review and summary is then we don't understand that what actually this novel is trying to say the small our small actions can be responsible for various changes this can be seen in the positive and negative both the way today when we are doing anything we don't realize that what it might be effective affecting to the animal world and after doing reading of the novel uh, i came to the realization that uh, even a small even a small change in the human world is also bringing a change in the animal world they are also migrating and their migration is also uh, affecting to the people living in another region so our small deed can be uh, a greater result in whole human and animal world easy path can lead us to difficulties which is seen by the life of a tipu character tipu that he want if we uh, uh, see the character of a tipu growing we see that uh, he was always ambitious he wanted to some do something big but always through the wrong path he even even went to america for the education and there also he got into wrong company 
and we can see that uh, tipu always wanted to do something but went for the easy path which harm his not only him but his family and relatives also and how someone is accepted as divine and as i discussed that uh, we feel the myth is is a real story about uh, from goddess or a divine, a divine character but we uh, if we read this novel then at the end we see that it was a merchant who was having his voyage on by his own and here the myth was created only by the locals and after reading about the cover page uh, about the cover page done by rao it gives a new way of career that if you are interested in art you can also design a cover pages of various books thank you Okay, so I'm going to deal with themes. There are four major themes in the novel, and the first of them is etymological mystery. And the and along with that, I'm going to discuss about the title of the novel. So first, let me begin with title. And in the title, that there is a word gun that is stand for a Venice. Uh, and by this original lines, we have we have to understand that. The, the original lines are and through arabic the name of venice has traveled far afield to Par persian and parts of india where to this day guns are known as bandook which is of of course none other than venice or venetians so for the uh, for the word gun the word uh, bandook is used in the novel and the bandook is also mentioned as a venice uh, or venetian in the novel so Uh, ultimately the gun island is a venice and the another thing is like gun merchant or banduki sadagar we have the character of this uh, in the novel so when the word gun island is similar to venice so the gun merchant is is must be a merchant who visited to venice and there is a dialogue of dinanath uh, the dialogue is what is possible that i had completely mis misunderstood the name banduki sadagar could it be that it mean it meaning was not the gun merchant as i had thought but rather the merchant who went to venice now the third is ghetto so generally we are uh, we are aware about that that ghetto is a residency where jewish people are living all around the world that is the meaning of the ghetto but here in the novel we find that the word ghetto is not related to jews but used to uh, use for an island within an island that is um the uh, there is a image of island within island we find in the in the novel or we can say sundar sundarban is there and this we understand by this dialogue that the old ghetto is an island within island as you can see and the another dialogue is the island that was allotted to the jews she said had previously been a foundry where the arm armaments including bullets were cast and the word for foundry is the old venetian dialect was ghetto and this had becomes the name of the city's jewish settlement not only would this settlement became uh, become a great center of jewish learning it it would also lead to the coming of certain words of which ghetto was only one so now the word ghetto is used for the island within the island but uh, generally after what happened that when jewish are move someone uh, somewhere else and they are made their residences somewhere else that place are also uh, started knowing as a ghetto even there is no if there is no foundry the place is known as ghetto then the fourth word is booth usually booth means ghost but in the novel we find that it is used to uh, describe that it means that past of being and booth here also stand for memories uh, that is uh, time and again coming um, in the present in in the uh, time and again it is overpowering people and uh, it is present in present in the present moment so that we find here that uh, the root or etymology of uh, the word bhuto is here uh, 
uh, I can tell you is that the Bangla word bhut or bhuta comes from a basic but very complicated Sanskrit root bhu meaning to be or to manifest. So in this sense bhuta simply means a being or an ex existing presence. And bhuta also referred to the past in the sense of past state of being like when we say bhutkala or time uh, or times past. Now the fifth word is possession. So possession is when someone is taking over by demons. And uh, here in the novel it means like metaphor for greed. It's a metaphor for greed and uh, it is an imaginary thing. So uh, Chinta is uh, time and again saying that the word possession is not demonic or negative word. And there is a about the word etymology of this word there is a chapter warning. We found that the entire chapter is uh, all about this uh, etymology of this word and here the possession is uh, is also uh, a kind of awakening. Uh, we find that the person who claimed that he or she is possessed possessed, um, possessed with something, uh, they are awakening new vision, new personality or we can say new understanding. But the thing is like people usually take uh, taking it neg in negative term. So it will become problematic and then there are three names of the place that are also stand for another uh, name of country or the places that previously discussed. So I am not going to discuss uh, discuss it again. Now the second theme is historification of myth and mythification of history. So there are lot many myths and name of places are uh, there in the novel and that are also uh, like that are also existing in a uh, real world. So there is a name of uh, places are Venice, Sundarban, Gito and Sicily or there are three images or symbols are given in the novel. The first is uh, when we see the first image we find that the image is looked like a snake or gun hooked, hooked like a snake and guns. But in the reality the word is a Hebrew. Uh, this is the first word of Hebrew language or we can say first letter of Hebrew language. Uh, and the second word is uh, island within island that is uh, that is uh, seems like um, it its historical location is Keto and the third one is look like spider but in actual this is uh, uh, this its historical location is foundry. Now we can say that the myth is a history it it's not just imaginary thing. So when we uh, read uh, read the novel, we find that the novel might talking about 17th century because there are reference of plague, then the fire and Bandhu Kisadagar and all these things are happened around the 17th century. So we can place that novel there. Now we find that there is an incident of gun merchant uh, there who is trapped uh, trapped by pirates and sold in the slave market. So in present time we are we can able to compare this with the indication of human trafficking in present time. Then there is a journey of Tipu and Rafi and the journey of Bilal and Kabil, Kabir are there in the novel that we can compare with the example uh, examples of slave trades in present time but it, it is in different manner. Um, then uh, we can say that the concern of myth is no, uh, in novel is a historical truth, not universal truth. Now the third one is climate change. Uh, in the novel, the novel Gun Island was written after the book, uh, another book of Amitav Ghosh that is the great de uh, derangement, climate change and the unthinkable. So uh, there are several questions raised uh, about the climate cha uh, change raised in the novel. In in this book, the great derangement, and um, many scholars are believing that the Gun Island is the answer of that question. So, in the book, the great derangement, uh, derangement climate change, and the unthinkable, uh, it is divided into three parts: that is, story, history, and polity, uh, politics. So, in the first part, there is a story. Um, so we can say that climate change is a is like seems like unreal and uncanny that people are not usually focusing on that or we can say not paying attention to that. Same way we find that uh, there is a story in the novels there is, there is a story of Mansa Devi and the story of gun merchant and uh, other stories that are unreal or uncanny. So it it is quite similar we find 
and then there is a section 2 is about history so in the section 2 we find that the role of colo colonialism in climate crisis so we have uh, we find that uh, colonial idea uh, development is a colonial idea and to make uh, beautiful roads and big buildings that all are the idea of colonial co came from colonialism and to do that we are harming nature and due to that climate change are happening so this how this colonial idea are, uh, are related to the climate change in the section 3 we find that politics uh, is about politics and according to amita ghosh like capitalism is a responsible for a damage we are doing to the climate for example there is a two films uh, share me and don't look up in don't look up if we see that there is a um, there is a story that comet is coming from the space that is huge comet than the earth and uh, um, it, there is astro, astro, astrologers who are telling that uh, who are telling that we must stop this comet but there is a capitalist person who is who want to take minerals from that uh, comet so uh, because of that um, the earth was at last um, um, the earth was destroyed and the Sherni is also talking about uh, the climate change and uh, about uh, uh, capitalism and um, other things. Now there is a list of uh, words of a list of words that are came uh, that are there in the novel and that is related to climate change. I'm not going to read this, but you can find much more uh, uh, list of words than this also. Now the another one is migration or human trafficking and refugee crisis. So there are three major reasons uh, of migration of people. There is a war and natural uh, disaster, religious migration and the climate refugees. So the novel is focusing on mainly two locations. The first one is Sundarban and the another one is Venice. So when we see that both the both these sites, we find that these are the uh, sinking sites. And there is a now we if we look into the reasons there are the natural calamities are there, so uh, natural calamities are there and in that we find that story of Lubna Khala that Lubna Khala is there is a cyclone in the village of Lubna Khala and they has to shift and because of shifting they had to shelter under the tree. And there he find uh, there she find that there is a lots of snakes in uh, in that tree and that bites uh, to he, to he, her brother and to her niece and because of that both of them died. So everything uh, she said that everything's gone now the house the people the waters taken it all. So this how that due to climate change people are suffering and people are uh, uh, dying because of that because of uh, cyclone that is caused by climate because of ca climate change now the second one is communal violence there is a story of bilal and kabir kabir that we understand uh, that we can uh, uh, understand by this original lines there is a lines that one day there was a fight bilal is telling this my uncle and cousins attacked my father my uncle and cousins attacked my father and me so kabir come to our defense and knocked my uncle down after that it was like a riot kabir and uh, kabir and i managed to get away but from then now we we had to be constantly on the run so it is also uh, kabir and bilal story is also uh, about that how much hard the situation is uh, uh, like how much hard the migration is they has to constantly run away from one to another places they has to uh, live under the threats and they have they under the fear all these things are there it is showing uh, the negative side of migration now the third one is poverty that is uh, there is a story of tipu and rafi uh, both are living in the sundarban and it is very hard to survive in sundarban because of uh, low economic uh, opportunities and uh, economic condition so they have to migrate migrate at another places and Rafi telling the story that we spent two weeks in Dhaka and then the Dalal put us on the uh, minibus along with a group of other men I was carrying only a backpack and so was Tipu we had some clothes a bit of food and around 20 250 uh, 50 US dollars each that's all so that is showing the poverty of them. Now there is a 
positive side of migration also there is a socio economic condition that uh, there is a story of palasha palasha uh, is migrated to italy as a student and he was wealthy educated a person uh, he he is telling his story that i came to italy as a student you see which set uh, sets me apart from most bengali migrants back back in bangladesh my circumstances were completely different from theirs most of them are, them are from villages and small towns as we see bilal kabir and uh, rafi and all they while my father is banker in dhaka my older brother is a civil servant quite high up i studied at dhaka university and even have a degree in ma management for some year i worked as a manager in multinational corporations i used to go to work in a car every day wearing a suit and tie so this how the this is the positive side of migration now my learning outcome so uh, my learning outcome is myth is a history then another one is traveling is uh, after after uh, understanding the themes i came to know uh, about this point that traveling is a beneficial for personal development nature is a reflection of human behavior for example due to uh, cap, uh, due to civilization we are har if we are destroying nature then we has to face several kind of uh, calamities natural calamities and natural disasters and we has to suffer so this how nature is a reflection of human behavior to help a friend the way rafi helping the tipu this i have heard uh, in one of the while watching the video of one of the theme now world is a more complex than we think then the sixth one is good mental health is important then seventh is never give up and there is two lines that i like the most in the novel that is first is the possibility of our de deliverance lies not in the future but in the past in a mystery beyond memory and another one is people think that knowing uh, the future can help you prepare for what is to come but often it only makes you powerless thank you so now article very briefly i will discuss five articles related to this novel very first it is from the sundarbans to italy eco critical concern in the hungry tide in the uh, gun island by amita ghosh in this article pranav dr pranav talk about the uh, how both the novel is uh, talk about the eco critical concern and the hungry tide is the the character which came in hungry tide it is the character in the gun island some character are continuous of the novel the second novel is the second article is the gun island a tale of myth migration and climate change this article is talking about the myth in the both the novel in uh, hungry tad in the uh, gun island is al also talking about the migration issue in the novel discussed by the writer and the climate change planetary los angeles climate realism and translation narrative in amita ghosh gun island this article which, which is uh, talk about critical uh, this article make critic of the novel like why writer choose Lo la los angeles for the setting of the novel as a uh, which one setting is the rural area of uh, bengal and one other another is the los angeles then uh, he gives some reason that there is a uh, many other things also which he can discuss but why he choose this place and some negative aspect and he also make the point that if we want he uh, what writer want to say that if we want to make our present better then we have to look past but uh, the edwin gilson make a point that if we want to progress then we have to make uh, we have to show future not a past the crisis of climate and immigration in amita ghosh gun island this article discuss about uh, how climate uh, change and migration became more a global issue in today's time like uh, everyone wants financial stability and don't want to be a rural and there is a how the bodhi character tipu and rafi wants want to migrate from the uh, sundarbans to uh, another uh, country where they want they get information from the social media in the article uh, trina boss and Am amrita also criticized the using of the technology that how technology encourage the youngster to make decision without thinking about 
important thing. They are inspired by the watching uh, social media and impressed by, uh, by the photos and decide to make decide to go the Venice. This is the photo of the migration happening uh, last five or ten years. Gun Island is uh, not a fiction but a prediction that how the uh, thing which um, the Amita was discussed in the novel uh, in uh, 2000. Amita was starting writing novel in 2016 and whatever he talked about in Los Angeles which, which became true in the two, 2019. So Panchal was, uh, tried to say that how the fiction of uh, his became the prediction that it became real in the two days time. So my learning out, um, outcome is that uh, after the reading of the five or ten article I came to know the five different perspective of the novel. First uh, article uh, came to know about the <coughs> climate and connection of the two novels. The second article about the myth and migration in, in the novel. The third article is about the critical approach toward the setting of the novel. The fourth, fourth one is about the issue of climate and migration. And the final article talks about the, how the fiction became reality in today's time. These are the citations. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.